o'clock this morning. Officials say a group of seven people met the boat's operator at a Dundalk bar, and then they accepted his invitation to cruise to Fells Point. Disaster struck on their way back to Dundalk. This is what 55-year-old Timothy Wilson's boat looked like when it was towed away from Fort Carroll. Officials say Wilson's boat hit one of these four concrete barriers near the Key Bridge. They're there to keep boats from hitting the structure. Apparently, everyone was thrown overboard, and the boat continued on its own and struck Fort Carroll, which is just south of the Key Bridge. Emergency crews rescued six people right away, but two women were missing. The bodies of 40 year old Wendy Lawson and 45 year old Kimberly Irvin have since been recovered. The first victim was found by helicopter, and the second one was actually seen by a Good Samaritan who called us. Lawson and Irvin are the 13th and 14th people to die in local waters this year, surpassing last year's 12 fatalities, and there are several weeks left in the boating season. We've got all of August. We've got some of September left, and we're already two ahead of last year, and that's really discouraging. And uh, we would just urge people to really be careful out there. If you're going to be out on the water, officials say you should always have on a life jacket. If you're operating a boat, they say know your skill set and don't exceed it. Right now, officials are working to figure out if speed or alcohol played a role in this crash, and the operator of the boat is not facing any charges at this time. Live in the studio, Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News.